Marcus Ashworth, columnist for Bloomberg Gadfly, joins us now to explain why there are 98 trillion reasons <laughs> to be worried next year. One of the most read stories in the last 24 hours, Marcus. Well done to you and Mark Gilbert, of course, co-written. What a wonderful story. Just the figure stands out. I had to, I had to read it to work yeah. out what the figure well, actually it was, a, was. It was a nice, catchy headline. It was. Um, well done for that. And why are you so worried? Well, everyone likes a bit of doom. Yeah. Actually, fact, I think stocks are in a reasonable shape, but you have to be aware of quite how much they've risen this year. And that's what sort of is scary when you appreciate how the effect of QE is still working in the system. And that's something we've got to be very conscious of as ECB is still pumping money in. Not quite at the same pace, but they are still pumping money in. So many good charts here, 12 in total. This is another one, uh, a drop in price swings. And this is a great chart, 60-day volatility of global stocks versus bonds. Something yep. interesting happening in the far right corner there. Yes, it's crossing over in the sense that bond volatility and, and equity volatility are normally quite separate things, but they are showing a, a great convergence at very incredibly low levels, and that is a worry because when and if we do get a shakeout, it's going to be all the more violent for it. Yeah, I mean, there's so many great things to talk about. I love the, I love the Da Vinci. Most people go, oh, talk about the yield curve. Oh, no, 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 no. When you first <laughs> heard that story, what was it, 450.3 million for yes. Salvatore Mundi, what was your first thought? Or second thought, or third oh, thought. I, mean, I think they're all the same thought. I was yeah. like, oh my lord, how much? Uh, and, how does it tie into the narrative that well, I think there, there is there is literally infinite money, um, you know, chasing finite resources, and that's mm. what's what's where it's stocks, where it's artworks, where it's classic cars. You know, in the list, there is the, these prices have, have gone kept on going up. They're great. Uh, inheritance assets to buy because you can hand them on down to your the family without the same tax implications and that's it, it's no doubt about it people want how often does a does a uh, da vinci come up not very many you know very often tall than e9 i think and you know in that sense in private hands yeah. therefore it's a once literally in a lifetime opportunity i think for many people so perhaps it's semi-justified if you look down the list we did there's some names there i was a little surprised how much they went for